Hey, it's Nancy and a very warm welcome to Nancy Stevens Arts and Style Show. And I'm so, so chuffed to have my friend and colleague and someone I've known a long, long time actually. And that is Ross Jardine White uh, from Arts One. Hi, Ross. Hi. So lovely to have you on my show. It feels like we've done this before, but we haven't. No, we've known each other for ages now. We've never actually sat down and done this. So I'm very excited. Very excited. I'm sure we're not going to run out of things to talk about. No, we never have before. No. <laughs> uh, Ross's CV is pretty damn impressive, I have to say. So I'm going to run through it and then I'll let him talk about all the amazing things that you've done. So, uh, as I say, Head of Pre-Vocational Training Arts One, um, which in my opinion is a Centre for Excellence in Arts. Well, training arts in Milton Keynes. There's nowhere like it, is there? No, we're, we're, I'm so lucky to have the job I do. It's an amazing place to work. Yeah. It really is. I mean, I, I, you know me, I cannot praise Arts One enough for everything that they've done, but we'll talk about that you know, for my son and for what they do for, for children and, and young adults in Milton Keynes. It is extraordinary. Um, so yeah, tell me about your training. You know, you, you're a proper lovey, aren't you? You've done it all properly. Yeah, I, so after school, I got into doing musical theatre and then it was like, it just wasn't for me and I didn't, I ended up starting, took two years, worked out what I wanted to do. And then I went to the Royal Conservatory of Scotland and studied production technology and management um, and specialised in stage management for theatre with a uh, minor in design as well. That's quite impressive. Yeah, I was just about taking the time to find out what, what was right for me and find the right thing. And then over two years of doing work experience on shows and some Amdram stuff at home, I was like, oh, this is what I want to do. And then it became my life now. Was performing not, was it just not a fit for you? Yeah, it just wasn't a fit. It was just, I've got slightly dodgy ankles, so that kind of made dance a bit hard. So no kickball changes though? Definitely not for me. Um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> Yeah, it was just, and I was like, I don't think I'm quite good enough to do it properly. And anything I do, I have to do properly, I have to do it right. And I was like, I'm not sure I'm going to. So I was like, let's take a bit of a break and work out what the right thing to do is. So It was quite yeah. a measured approach for a young chap, and especially from Scotland as well, I guess. You know, was it difficult, you know, in those days, being sort of arty and creative and a yeah. little bit different? I'm from a small town. Well, I don't know, I think it's quite a small town. It's, it can be small-minded, but it's in the past kind of 10 years, it's really made a shift. We've got a theatre that, when I was there, nothing ever came to it. Um, now, touring shows visit it, and it's had a massive refurb, and it's such a lovely, wonderful place. And I think that, it, I was so lucky, I had a drama teacher called Jackie, and she was just amazing, and supported me through everything, and my parents were so supportive. So I was really lucky, and it, it was hard to make that decision, because, you know, from school, everyone's like, go to uni, go to uni, go to uni. But then you just sometimes have to go, that's not quite the right thing. Mm -hmm. it, like, I knew in my mental space I wasn't ready to do move away from home and do that. Um, and I just had the right people around me. And I think that's one of the most important things in this industry, that you have the right people around you who will support you. Oh, that's yes. absolutely everything. I, I, couldn't re I couldn't agree more, actually. Um, so you kind of decided to, to do that and you quite measured approach. And then, but your, you know, your CV is so impressive. I mean, you've worked in the West End on Dream Girls, Wicked Sunny Afternoon, Cinderella and Snow White at the Palladium. Mm. I mean, an extraordinary array of shows. Yeah, I get bored easily. And it was, I got my first West End job through sending letters to people and eventually Michael, who's a really good friend of mine, met me for a coffee. And he was like, if a job comes up, I want to see you for it. And about within a month, a job had come up on Sunday afternoon. We had six weeks left of the run, so I went in and I was like, okay, I'll just do it for six weeks, see what it is. We then extended and ended up doing about six months on that show. I got a bit of a, like a little promotion in that job, which was amazing, which unexpected. And yeah, then it just kind of snowballed from there. and. It's an amazing show though, isn't it? I love Sunny Afternoon. It was so much fun. We had, it was just the best. It was such a small theatre. So just loud, involved. We were actually on stage in costume doing parts of our scene changes and stuff. It was a bit of like a crash course. Mm. So there, that was amazing. And then off the back of that, Michael got Cinderella at the Palladium, which I think was the first pantomime at the Palladium in 30 years. And it was like a huge, like, A-lister cast and it was incredible. And we were like, this is amazing. And Michael got this job and I was like so happy for him. And then a few weeks later, I just got a random phone call. I just sat in my living room and they were like, do you want to do the panto at the Palladium? I was like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of came from nowhere and then... This wee boy from Scotland. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm doing a panto with like Amanda Holt and Paul Grady. And it was, it was so mad. Pinch me mad. moment. Yeah, yeah. properly. Yeah. And the first ever show I had work experience was at the London Palladium. And I was like, that's the theatre I want to work in. 
and I wanted to call a show in there and then our DSM got sick and then I ended up calling a show at the London Palladium. Then the stage manager left, I ended up stage managing a show at the London Palladium and I'm like, what is happening? 